Yes, as you mentioned, uh, the bags are being slowly reunited with their owners uh, at no cost, of course, to the owners. And Southwest is making promises to refund uh, whatever unexpected travel expenses you might have. Brian Costello's family still managing to smile in these photos, even though they were stuck in Vegas for four days rather than in Chicago for a family Christmas due to Southwest's repeated delays and cancellations of their connection from L.A. The, the worst part is my, I wasn't able to be there with my, my parents and my aunt. Now Costello and so many others will begin the multi-step process of navigating the special travel disruption page set up on Southwest website to upload copies of all the receipts and hopefully process refunds for all the unexpected expenses. Just the rental car from Vegas to LA for one day was 450. Um, the hotels weren't crazy, you know, it's Vegas and it was the holidays, but you know, it's a couple thousand dollars probably all in between the meals, every night a hotel. I mean, it's, it's in the low thousands. Southwest still very much in damage control mode. Executives determined to get back on schedule and build back trust. My personal apology is the first step of making things right after many plans changed and experiences fell short of your expectations of us. We're continuing the work to make this up to you. Customers are being told seven to 10 days to process refunds. Frustrated travelers should demand all the compensation that they're entitled to and hold Southwest's feet to the fire through this. As the web page says, travelers are entitled to reasonable, not unlimited expenses, though that's not clearly defined. I asked travel expert Clint Henderson what reasonable means. Uh, for me, if I have to spend $1,000 on a one-way ticket on Delta, and spend $500 on a hotel at an airport for three nights, and I'm spending money every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's to me, reasonable. That's, reason that's reasonable to ask Southwest to reimburse me for all that. So back live here at the baggage level of Terminal 1, no doubt that word reasonable is going to be uh, the sort of the subject of a lot of controversy as people uh, submit those ref uh, those receipts for reimbursement, Marla and Coco. But I think we understand it's, uh, you know, an average price hotel and not necessarily the presidential suite at the Four Seasons. Yeah. Um, again, Southwest says they're going to go back to normal operations tomorrow, which is a little bit difficult to imagine how they go from a third of flight operations to full flight operations. But that the, that's the promise to their customers. Live at LAX, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. All right, Phil.